The intent of this video is not to paint a doomsday scenario for markets when it comes to IT. Rather, having an experience in IT industry for about 12-13 years and working within the space of AI kind of gives me a unique perspective. So this video is about a macro theme and an assessment around what is happening and certain potentials. There's just two links that I'm going to talk about and highlight how important this sector is for India. For instance, if you go by Wikipedia, 2022, 7.4% was the contribution towards India's GDP, which is the IT and the business process outsourcing scenarios. Now, this space is very well understood. There are a lot of IT companies. In fact, we have a Nifty IT Index, which is Yeah, Nifty IT Index, which is tracks the overall IT industry, if you want to think about it. And then the companies which are inside can be looked at most likely in the top companies that are there in the, in that, I would say, let me see where the, what are the constituents of this here. Okay, this chart is very, very yeah. free. About that. Yeah, in free 29%, TCS 22%, CL Tech 10%. TechM 9%, Wipro 8%, Persistent, CoForge, LTIM, Emphasis, and TDS. If you actually see a theme, more than 50% of this is service industry. And what does that really mean? Is that we have been amazing at, from a country perspective, of outsourcing low-cost technology jobs for other economies. Now, what is happening right now is, if you see the Wikipedia page, there is a section which is called Automation and Labor. And if you see the starting point, the rise of AI-powered tools like GPT, Gemini, and Copilot have sparked discussions around potential impact on programming jobs. In 2024, the tech industry witnessed a significant increase in layoffs. And this trend we are constantly seeing, like we are, like, it's just continuing, it's not that there is any sort of, um, I don't know, it's unclear as to what's going to happen, what's the far end of horizon looking like. Even the top players, like for example, Vineet Nair, the former CEO of HCL, said in March 2024 that automation may lead to decrease in workforce size needed for specific tasks, specific repeat data entry jobs, uh, and skills of employees for coding, testing, maintenance, etc. As these skills become obsolete, the question becomes, what is the impact on jobs, which is obviously the case, but we are not here to talk about it. But rather, what could be the impact on markets? And around this, Akshat, who is also a YouTuber, which I follow, has a very good macro study. There are certain category of people who don't believe in influencers and some who do. However, the point is not about, but he has brought in a very interesting tweet. With India's biggest import in the last 20 years was human labor. And I think if we factor this parameter in, if we understand this dimension and superimpose on IT, there is a potential to see a downtrend coming within this, whether it's Nifty IT or overall IT index, if we stick to the service part of the spectrum. In fact, we are no better than we were about a year ago, almost about, and we are actually lower. It's 37,005 July, very close. I think we are at 10th part. And there's a potential for a little bit. We are still slightly higher. But at the same time, the industry, the index has not performed significantly well between the time period, let's say somewhere about 2022 to 2023. It's been mostly consolidated. What is the impact? It's very unclear. There's mostly speculation at this point. So there is a potential that if these organizations, which are predominantly within the service space, find a way to pivot into a more strategic player, there is an upside potential, but that will be a longer term potential. However, the reality for sure is that a lot of layoffs are happening. And uh, a lot of these low-hanging coding jobs are just getting difficult to get into. Probably another year down the line, we'll see more drastic impact. But the cascading impact on markets is likely to be negative because of these scenarios. 
again there are upskilling discussions happening but it's going to be very difficult in this space because the commoditization is so fast that you can do a lot of things very quickly that human beings just cannot so only time can tell things would look like however my personal interpretation and i'm not a advisor or anything like that is that the future is bleak when it comes to the economics of IT industry so far specifically targeting the service sector just a thought